Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk monthly favorites, my favorite time of the month. Um, I have quite a bit here. I didn't think I had that much, but apparently I do. Um, yeah, so if you wanna see my favorites for January, then just keep on watching. I got this at the end of January, but I feel like it still counts because I'm in love with it. Small phone case. Starbucks cup. Um, I got it off Amazon for like seven bucks, so I'll link it down below if you guys are interested, but I think it's just super cute. It's like really obnoxious to talk on, but it's super cute. So I guess that's all that matters. All right, so real favorites. Um, the first thing, I have like... A little bit of everything in here to this month like I got a palette I got some you know miscellaneous stuff first thing I want to start with is a hair product which is weird for me because I usually don't talk about hair products because I don't usually do anything to my hair but um yeah so I've been using the suave professionals keratin infusion dry shampoo for all hair types it looks something like this and I really, really like it. Um, I've been trying not to wash my hair as often and let the natural oils, like, sink in. Um, so this has been really, really good with my hair. It doesn't leave any um, white specks in your hair or anything. And you just, like, pick up pieces of your hair and you spray it and then brush it through. So it's, like, super easy and, you know, like, regular dry shampoos. But my friend asked if it leaves, like, white specks in her your hair because she's had problems with those before but this doesn't and I think it's like three bucks maybe I don't remember I've had it for a while my mom and I both use this because it really makes your hair look really good so I try to wash my hair every three days now so it went since I have this and I really like it I don't like the smell of it, it smells like hairspray it's kind of gross but you know if you can get past that this is a great product and so if you haven't liked dry shampoos in the past like me because I've hated every single dry shampoo I've tried you might like this one so give it a go I think you might approve the next item um, that I'm like super obsessed with and I just recently have gotten to play with it more is the ColourPop Shadow Puppy Love. I absolutely love this. It is gorgeous. It's very shimmery and if you don't know um, when they were selling this, I think they're still selling this, they donated all the proceeds from this to a shelter in California which is like really, really great. And let me just swatch this for you guys. You know, their eyeshadows are super creamy, um, super pigmented. I usually use this as like an inner highlight, which might be weird to some people, but I really like it. I don't know if you guys can see that, hopefully. I just really like how shimmery it is. Um, I like inner highlights um, for most looks. So this is what I've used. It's like a little gold tint. It's super cute, it's $5 if you want one and you want your money to go to a good cause, this would be perfect. The next item on my list, um, I just recently uploaded my face wash routine, which this hasn't changed it in any way, shape, or form. It's like that face wash routine self state. The only difference is this is the Advantage Acne Control Moisturizer. It's oil-free, helps treat and prevent acne. And it's from Clean and Clear. I love this stuff. Like I am constantly moisturizing my face with this, it's really, it really sounds really weird, but it does. it's not over drying, and it really does help. The one that day I had like a pimple, and I could feel it, and it hurt, you know, when you get those pimples. I put this on my face like a million times, and then I put my spot treatment on, and that bad boy was gone the next day. So this has been a lifesaver for me. And I think if you have, you know, acne that like pops up every once in a while like I do, we all have some troublesome skin, you might like this. And it was only six bucks. And it's lasting a long time. Like, there's a lot of product in here, and I really like it. So maybe consider this if you have some troublesome spots. It really, really helps. All right, the next product on this list um, I've been loving. I, if you guys don't know, I work in the beauty department at Kohl's, and I'm constantly playing with makeup because that's where I'm at. So um, one brush that I found there that I've been loving is the Real Techniques Blush Brush. This brush is amazing. It picks up products so well and blends it out amazingly. And I don't know what else to say about it besides, oh, I love it. 
and it just looks like this it's like really really fluffy like you have to be into like really fluffy brushes like I am I'm pretty into big fluffy brushes I don't know why that's just kind of my thing but yeah it's just super awesome super great if you don't have it look into it it's only I think it's ten dollars not bad for a brush actually the next item I have been loving um this kind of goes along with like working in beauty at Kohl's. My hands get dry all the time, which I don't really, I don't understand. I think it's just a dry time for my hands. My hands are constantly dry and it's annoying. And my friend suggested this to me before I was in the department and it's called the it's H2O and it's the Targeted Care Hand and Nail Cream. And it looks like this. Um it smells really bad. So if you don't mind that, it'll be great. Uh, it smells really, really gross. I don't like the smell. It's like, well, it doesn't smell as bad as I used to think it does, but it just, it's not like my favorite scent on the planet, but this stuff will make your hands amazing. Like if you have rough, crackly hands, this would be stuff for you. This would be great. It's really thick and creamy. It doesn't make your hands feel clammy or sticky or anything like that after you use some lotions. It really does make your hands feel smooth, soft. So yeah, if you are looking for a new lotion, try this. Um, this is like a little travel size I got because I got like a whole like set thing um, around Christmas time. So it's a little pricey. I think it's like, I honestly don't know how much this is. I'll post it on the screen though when I find out. So, but yeah, it's great and it'll last you forever and you'll love it. Okay? Okay. The next thing I've been loving that I got not too long ago, but I've still been loving, um, and it is the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. This is just a little, um, example they gave me, because let's be honest, like, I don't wear makeup on the daily. I'm a nanny. I take care of children. I don't give a crap. So this is going to last me forever, but I love it. Um, it really does smooth out the face and make it look amazing. So I see why everyone's been obsessed with that. The next item is probably kind of silly, but if you're like, if you got kiddos or, you know, whatever, um, or you take care of kids, this is great. I, it's a little <laughs> giraffe. He is hand sanitizer and I think he is just adorable. And like the kids I take care of love this and they actually want to keep their hands clean. You know, I don't put it on them often because hand sanitizer can dry out your hands and it can't, it's not good for you. But, you know, after they use the restroom and we're in a public place or whatever and I don't want them to touch, if they've touched something gross, I, you know, squirt this in their hand. And they have different flavors. They have, this one is Tropical Punch, which smells really bad. I have to say, it smells really bad. But, still super cute to hang on the purse, hang it on whatever purse I'm carrying. And it's still, like, really, really cute. But, um, kids love it. Uh, my nephew loves to play with this. <laughs> it's adorable. But, yeah, if you want something, you know, adorable in your purse or backpack. This is at Kohl's too. <laughs> they have a giraffe, an elephant, an owl, all kinds of animals. Like you can choose whatever. But yeah, that's something I've been really liking lately. The next item on my list, um, let's go to face. Well, we've been talking about the face, but you know what I mean. Um, I've been, I've tried, I tried this and I'm currently trying to find more, which is really, really hard because it's, it's an Asian brand. I don't even know. It's in like, you know, a foreign language and who knows what it's saying. I could be putting gross chemicals on my face and I don't even know it, but it is amazing. It is the Blackberry Animal Mask and I originally got it off of memebox.com and that website has such cool stuff, but I got, I put this in my stocking this year for myself. And it is amazing. It really, I, you know, I washed my face and everything before I put this on. This got off all the dirt and my, my truck, I've got some like blackheads on my nose all the time. This really cleared them up. It was amazing. And I'm like, what is in this? This is fantastic. And it's really, really cute because the mask is actually the face of a panda. And I love pandas. Pandas are like my absolute favorite. Like anyone can test to that. Well, pigs might be first, but whatever, pandas are like in there somewhere. 
Um, so yeah, this is great. Like if you, they have other animals too, but I actually have the box. So this is the box that it came in and you got the variety of all these animals. And I actually gave away all the animals, but, um, they're super cute. I think I have, oh, I have one more in here and it's a dog. But yeah, you get all these animal masks and they're for different things. This one's for hydration because it's that like hydrolonic acid, you know, hydration. Um, but yeah, I got them in this little box and this was like 10 bucks. And so I was like really excited to finally try this and I'm obsessed. So as soon as I find out where else I can order these and if you guys are interested in trying them, um, I'll let you guys know because this is, this is really, really good and I don't regret this at all. Next item. I think it's been a while. The next one I'm going to say is a blush. And I've absolutely been loving it. It's by Makeup Geek because I love their blushes. Um, and this one is called Romance. And it looks a little something like this. It has some shimmer to it. It's a really, really, really pretty color. Um, I love this. Let me see if I can swatch it for you guys. It's got. It's like my everyday one I go to because it's nice and subtle on the skin and it's not too in your face and you're not completely blinded by my blush. So it's like, it's just really great. And I don't usually like blushes with shimmer in them or bronzers, but for some reason this really works and I really, really like it. But yeah, I don't know what else to say. It was great. And I think it was, their blushes are like, eight or nine dollars and they're pretty big like this is my palette with all their blushes and I really really like it so yeah it's just good everyday blush if you like shimmering if you don't then you know scratch that the next item that I got towards the end of January my friend gave me a gift card to Sephora and I think it's been a while since I've been obsessed with palettes I buy palettes like all the time like Ask my mother, ask my fiance. I'm constantly buying a palette because I think I need it um, because the colors are just so perfect. Or I'm constantly buying eyeshadows. Like it doesn't even matter because I'm an eyeshadow girl. Like if I have anything in my collection that is a lot, it's eyeshadow. Like I just love eyeshadow. I don't know why. It's just, that's my thing. Like most people like collect lipstick. I'm starting to get on the bandwagon of lipstick, but eyeshadows are like where it's at. So anyways, <laughs> I love the Tartlet in Bloom palette. Oh my god, this is my life. There are amazing colors in here. Um, if you don't know already, this is what it looks like. You have three shimmers, and they're all matte colors, and these are all colors I would wear. It's like a very neutral palette, which I don't like neutral palettes. I hate them. Like, I want things with color in them, but I love this. Their packaging is so sleek, so beautiful. Like they really did great with this. Like I have another, I have their holiday palette and this is, I don't know. I did a look with this. It's just perfect. I don't know what else to tell you guys besides you need it if you're, if you haven't gotten it yet. Cause I know I'm like really late on this bandwagon, but I just had to share with you guys what I've been loving lately. And this is it. This is made the top and I use it almost every day now. The next items. I want to talk about this palette is a love this is another palette it's like a love-hate relationship because the colors suck together like not in like the packaging the packaging is so sleek and gorgeous and I love it what sucks about it is the eyeshadows together suck to blend out together they don't blend well together they're really, really bad. They're great with other shadows, but if you want to use them together, they're really, really hard to blend out. And I just, I think that's just what happens. Like, a, like it's a, it's a quad. So it's it, this is what it is. It's bliss, and it's a quad, and it's called Hey Four Eyes. But the eyeshadows together just suck blending together, and I don't know what it is about it. But I love the colors in this palette. This palette gives me life what it looks like this one right here I can't not like it oh look at that and like you could barely touch these and you get like a really good swatch of them and I really like that about these so it totally sucks that they suck together but if you want like a little quad like this 
they have several, you can get the eyeshadows and like blend them with a different color. They blend wonderfully with other eyeshadows that I have They and everything, which together they kind of suck, but you know, the palette's gorgeous and I love it. And you know, I'm like really into like cranberry tone, like this cranberry tone right here and pink stuff right now. Cause that's all I've been doing on my eyelids, if you can't tell. But yeah, that's, this is great. This was, I got it for my birthday, but they're $24. Um, I mean, I think you get a lot of product for these. So yeah, just, you know, keep it in mind. But Let's then, talk about some lip, lipsticks. I think every month I've been talking about lipstick, which is fantastic because... I love lipstick. Well, sort of. It's getting up there on my list. I'm not sure really. But anyways, I've been loving the Lorac Pro Matte Lip Color right here. They're little sticks. Got the color on the end. And they are gorgeous. Like, I don't know what else. Like, they, you take the lid off and then you just twist them and you get some product out. This one is a mauve, which was the, no, I'm just kidding. This is pink taupe. It's actually what I'm wearing right now. And this was the second one I bought. I want to buy more. I wish they had more, like, a, of a selection in these because I just, I don't know if I approve of them. And then this one is pink taupe. So there's mauve and pink taupe. And pink taupe is actually, am I wearing pink taupe? I don't even know which one I'm wearing. Yes, I think I'm wearing pink taupe. <laughs> I can't even remember. But these are great. They last all day. The only time I had to reapply them is when I ate something. Um, and that's just like in the middle of my lips. They last all day long. They are amazing. They don't really smudge. They stay in place. And I've been requesting these to everybody. Because I think everyone needs a Lorac matte lip color in their life. That's just, just yeah, you need this. Okay, pink. They have great, a great color range, but not that great. Like, I wish they had more colors. And then the next one, I put this on my table, and come to think about it, I feel like this was in last month's favorites. Dog's barking. I know. Um, this, I feel like this was in last month's favorites. I'm not 100% sure. Might have been. Whatever. I love it. Androgyny by Jeffree Star. I've used this for like a lot of looks. Everyday looks. Wear it to work. This lipstick goes nowhere. I really like Fancy Top. He's bringing them back. He's bringing back Androgyny this month on the 12th. So if you want to try it, you should. You'll love it. Like, you need it. Oh my god. Like, I am movements. Okay. Last two products. This has been a month full of products that I have played with and loved. Um, I've got a scent here for you guys. And it smells like gummy bears, which is like super weird, I think, for me anyways, because I usually go through like, I go for fruity scents, but not like candy scents, because like candy scents to me bother me, like cotton candy and stuff. I hate it. But this is Pure Seduction. It says Pure Seduction. And it is from Victoria's Secret. Ooh, it's from Victoria's Secret. And, you know, I'm not good at explaining scents. The only thing I can tell you is, like, it smells like gummy bears mixed with wine. Did that make sense? Mostly gummy bears. And this is just, whew, I sprayed this bad boy like crazy, like, clearly. Like, I got this in the beginning of the month, and it's down to here. Down to here. See that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know little excessive but I bought that because I can afford the big one okay. last but certainly not least is an eyeshadow primer I've been loving I have showed this in quite a bit of videos and I've just try been trying to decide if I actually do love it if I actually you know you want to share it with you guys and like tell you guys you need in your life it is the cargo HD picture perfect eyeshadow primer if you haven't seen my current last video this is what it looks like it's really hard to see packaging is so sleek so perfect I actually got this as a sample when I bought my cargo um palette that I have um and so this is like the I think this is the sample the main bottle is not much bigger than this it's $19 um I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase it 
I might when I have extra money, but I really, really like this. It does make your eyeshadow stay in place. Um, I've been using this opposed to my Too Faced Glitter Glue. And if you've been around a while with me, you know that's my holy grail, and I don't use anything else ever. But this has replaced it, and I really, really like it. It doesn't feel tacky. It doesn't feel sticky. It just, you know, blends out really well, and I really like it. I don't know what else to say. It just makes everything stick better, I guess, and blend out better. And I just really like it. But yeah, that's all that I have this month. Um, it's a little bit more than last month. I've definitely been playing with makeup more um, and loving it. And yeah, um, I don't know what else to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I really love filming monthly favorites, and I'm excited to see what February brings, and yeah, um, I appreciate you guys for watching, and if you um, like this kind of video and want to see more from me, make sure you subscribe below, um, and yeah, you can become friends. Um, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!